product will help you with that. Our product we created is Neural Um We created this product to be useful throughout your life and to make it more easier. Um, what we, people that we are targeting is ages 12 and up. We made this mirror reminder to fit in any sizes, such as your locker, your room, or your office. One third it will be whiteboard, and the rest will be mirrored. Um, thank you for your time. We will now take any questions you may have. Mm -hmm. Everybody could say, yeah, I could use that, or I have that same problem, we're always forgetful. So I think that's good because your addressable market is, is huge, it's everyone. I'm curious, how, you, how did you come up with this idea? Um, I was sitting with my cousin and she, uh, I needed to, like some ideas and it was, in class I felt peer pressure to like come up with ideas. So uh, when I was with my cousin at her house, I was like, felt more relaxed and like, she's like, oh, I always, uh, Forget things. I was like, oh my god. Then I then I set the product, and I thought it was like really good. I really like the presentation. I love the fact that you guys were smiling and you looked like you were having fun there. Because when you smile and you're sitting there, it makes us feel more comfortable. So that was great. I'm curious why um, why whiteboard and mirror versus just a mirror you can write on, or why and how you said it's all different sizes, and so if it's two questions. Why whiteboard and mirror, and then the second question would be, what does it mean it's all different sizes, like a compact, and then something that's big in your house, or how are you thinking about that? Uh, well, we thought mirror and whiteboard, because we wouldn't want you guys to ruin your mirror, so because you want to look at yourself. <laughs> and I do. You don't want to like stain like, the marker there, so like, we thought like, some of it could be whiteboard. And then in terms of the size, like it, it comes in all different sizes. Can you say that part again? Uh, well, you can have one in your office. It'll be like a certain size that'll fit there. Or if you're in high school like us and you have a locker room and you um, like need to like think of something, or something and like it'll fit in your locker. And if you're house, it'll be big, like I guess, if you want to. Thank you. Very good presentation. Um, I got the impression that you had some marketing company working with you on this one. <laughs> um, the, I was wondering because the, the mirror is actually, well, actually you didn't say, so is the mirror going to be glass or is it going to be metal? And if it's glass, have you thought about any safety concerns? Um, well, what we need to say with the glass is that we're not like once it gets hit, it's not gonna shatter. We're gonna create something that like won't shatter like all on the floor. It will just be just be shattered on the so it wouldn't call like come off on pieces. Um, I really love how you guys uh, clearly defined your problem at the beginning, um, and I think there's really a few different ways you can approach this pitch. Right? You can you can ask the question. You can. I really like actually how you said the problem we're trying to address is stuff and stuff, um, and that's something that's real for me. I I'm really old school. I put like post-its on my phone and stuff when I want to remember things. So I think there's definitely um, my mind's going to um, what else, what other kinds of products you could you could create based on the problem that you so. Uh, greatly identified. So I'm wondering, even as you continue to brainstorm, you, you, there seems to be you have the locker version and maybe a travel version. So there probably could be a few different ones. You want to be careful to not not spread yourself too thin. It's usually best to start with one strong idea. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a really uh, great problem to solve. Nice job. Thank you, Joe.